In this tutorial, we are in Adobe Audition. I'm gonna show you two different ways to normalize your audio inside of Audition. What is normalizing your audio? Also known as normalization. Pretty simple, really. You're just taking your recorded file, your podcast or whatever recording you have, and just pulling up the levels to a level that you set. So for me, I like to normalize to minus three dB. So whatever I recorded my audio in or my podcast, I say, I want that to go up to minus three dB and it just takes it and stretches the levels. It doesn't change the shape, it doesn't change the dynamic range, it just increases the levels proportionately. This is something that you typically do in the early stages of your post-processing. For me, I do it right after I get rid of the noise. So I run a noise reduction filter, so I get rid of the ambient noise. And then I do normalization to minus three dB to just pull up the audio levels. And what that does is it helps me hear the audio better. So when I'm adding EQ or compression, I'm getting a better representation of what the finished file might sound like by normalizing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is show you how to do it real quickly. There's two different ways that I do it. and what we'll do is create a new audio file. You can do, or you can just do the keyboard shortcut, Shift Command N. I'm gonna call this test. Something original. 44.1 mono and 32 at float is how I record my podcasts. And I don't see any levels, so I'm gonna hit Option I inside of Adobe Audition, and there's my levels popping up there. So I'm gonna record a quick little test file here, and you can see that I am recording. The waveforms are going, and I'm gonna go up and down. I'm gonna go loud and soft, and here we go, stop. Okay, if I wanna see what the peaks are, I go into Window, Amplitude Statistics. I hit Command A, go to Scan. I have a video of how to do that. My peak amplitude is minus 784. So you can see here, if you look over here, there'll be an imaginary line at minus 784. Okay, but I want to bring mine up to minus 3. That's where I want to do it. All normalization is going to do is take this audio and pull it up there in proportion so this shape does not change. That is also the dynamic range, the difference between the highest and the lowest recorded volumes. The way I do it, my favorite way or preferred way is to go to favorites, normalize to 3 dB. And you can't get any easier than that. If I do a scan now, you can see here that the peak amplitude is at minus 3 dB. Easy as that. Let's undo it and I'll show you method number two. Let's scan it. We're back to minus 784. Okay, we're back at the original here. And I'm gonna to go to effects, amplitude and compression, normalize process. There's two different ways to do it here. You can either do it by percentage, which is really difficult to understand exactly where it is. You typically wanna do something over 95 is a good rule of thumb, but I'm gonna make it easy and click on the DB and hit minus three. You can see why this is a little bit <laughs> longer than just going to normalize the minus three, but it is an option. So I hit apply. And there you have it. I'm gonna run scan. Peak amplitude minus three dB. It will correlate over here. That is how you normalize your audio inside of Adobe Audition. Cheers.